Today I want to speak to you about what you could possibly repay. What can you fix? And there are two very important things that are important in this conversation. Number one is what skill do you have? Because whatever you'd want to fix, you'd have to have a skill to fix that particular thing. Number two, what skill are you willing to learn? So number one, what skill do you have? Number two, what skill are you willing to learn? So there are all sorts of people and all sorts of entrepreneurs across South Africa that have built businesses on repairing certain things. So you break something, you'd want to take it to someone to repair. So that can be a cell phone. Um, you know, there are all sorts of businesses that have popped up in the past 20 years of uh, cell phone repairs. So, and there are all sorts of businesses that have popped up of people that fix other people's laptops. So again, the important thing here to note is, number one, what skill do you have or what do you like doing? Because if you're a person that likes sitting in front of a laptop and you know how a laptop functions and maybe you could get someone to pay you to fix his or her laptop. If you're a person that likes sitting in front of a, uh, a cell phone and you spend most of your time in front of your cell phone, then maybe someone could pay you to fix some of the issues on their cell phone. So whenever we think about repairing, we must always think about what skill do I have? What can I do? And is there someone that is willing to pay for this particular skill that I have? It can be fixing a cell phone. It can be fixing a laptop. It can be repairing tires because you always have lupumlos that can't repair their own tires. It can be repairing tires. It can be fixing a broken tap, you know? So whatever it is that you can fix, you and I, as entrepreneurs, must always find a way of monetizing that. Always remember that if you can fix something, whatever it is, there's someone who's always willing to pay you for that service.